Madrid preparing here to be a part of the opening act of another major European club season. An epic tale lies ahead, a footballing drama to unwind over the course of the next ten months. One where the central cast, both team and individual, will get to write their own story should they survive long enough. This episode one. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. I do hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Well, the biggest show in town just now, Peter, and everyone wants to be a part of it. Uh, a competition that seems to draw out the, the whole gamut of emotions. And in keeping with that, we've got an atmosphere with a real sense of enthusiasm here. And um, I'm hoping we get lift off once this game kicks off. Got things on the way. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Tricky, but Karen Benzema. What impresses me about the Frenchman is his willingness to, to keep going for the team, even on days when it's not as fluid. And I think that has a knock on effect and it sets the tone for, for that little bit of extra grittiness. I think the opposition defense agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Azar. Azar going full steam ahead down the left flank. Oh, sweet feet. Azar. Has a hit! He's scored! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for. A player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. A truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. I doubt very much that this was in the script. Stefan de Vrij. And that is as far as they're going to go. Now it's Benzema. He's made sure that that won't get through. Milan have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Tony Kroos. And it's Azar. Azar proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. It's come loose. Nyingalan. Now a chance to break. Baran. With a definite fell there. Ericsson. There has been just the early goal here, and the score is 1 0. And that's sprayed out wide. Madrid have a free kick.
And here's Benzema, and the shot! Shade too heavy, keeper can pick that up. Out to the right. Hakimi uh, needed a better pass there. And he's going long. And he's there to clear it. And it's hoisted clear. Casemiro, Tony Kroos, a searching ball out wide. Up to meet it! Last ditch defending, but that real chance! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. It's quite a run he's making here. Beautifully done. Oh, lots to admire in the run and the defending. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Hoists it forward, and they've been caught out here. Tries a shot! Back of the net! Two up, and threatening to pull clear. That was a given, it always was. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Madrid can have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Skrinja. Forward it goes. Now it's Perisic. That's a throw. Milan cannot keep hold of the ball. Casemiro. Madrid are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Vidal. Hakimi. Needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Nainggolan. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And here's the chance to counter. And here's Azar. Benzema. Has a hit! And it's there! All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned.
Madrid take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Lukaku. Martinez. Martinez gets it out to the wing. Cut out in the nick of time. Keeper's got good distance on that. He's left his man. Driving on it, and the finish! Oh, top floor save from the keeper. That was good defensive pressure to give him less manoeuvring room. And it's the whistle for half-time. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. <laughs> Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Madrid have established themselves in a position of absolute supremacy. An action-packed 45 minutes, and they have raced into a three-goal lead. And we are already promptly back on the way. Martinez. Mart and Martinez! Modric, Tony Kroos, and that's been one straight back. Great run on the overlap here. And try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Skriniar. Eriksson. Nyingalan. Casemiro. Grignard drives it forward. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Hit long and direct. Skriniar can get it clear. And it's Tony Kroos. That is terrific skill. Vidal concedes a free kick for that. Ball. Who's going to get that? Lukaku goes on a charge down the left. Gets the better of his man. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Skriniar gets good distance on it. Casemiro. it out wide, back into the middle. Lukaku. Kroos. Hazard really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez! Oh, real danger here! And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. <laughs> Vidal is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. <laughs> and it's Modric. Hazard. He's got the ball glued to his feet. That's gone a long way up and away. Modric. Skriniar gets rid without sophistication. Final 
checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Yeah, I just think that's really good management, introducing one of his younger players when the pressure's totally off, just allowing him some valuable, easy on-field experience time. That's our Ericsson with a fine tackle. Now it's Lukaku. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And here's Perisic, loses his balance and loses the ball. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself, lovely to see. Vinicius Junior. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Well, that's good intervention, things could have got far worse than that. Eriksson. And it's played forward. Tony Kroos. Lukaku. And it's Sanchez. Breaks on here. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Dinks one in. Rafael Varane. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Now it's Perisic. Chance! Rafael Varane just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all-or-nothing commitments, and he came up front. Perisic. Stefan de Vrij. Perisic. Plays it over to the other flank. That's the through ball. Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez decides to play it back. And he's cut it out. And here's Perisic. Oh, shooting chance! It's in! It. Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Time for a change in personnel. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going... And that's that. Madrid starts as they wanted to start. All three points, the first three points, crucially. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board, and it's mission accomplished. Nothing too fancy was required, just a, a good solid team display.